Not bragging, but you know my steez. I'm not from the yes, era of RA or PDC. You may not know me, but more for the tongue in Brixton. For real, right. that's good. That's good. So, um, today, what we're going to be looking at is the um, unapologetic review mm -hmm. in Channel 4. Yeah. We're gonna do it. Yeah, we're gonna start doing it. Yeah, There's yeah. one every week, I suppose. So we might as well get on it. I don't yeah. think no one else will. So <laughs> yeah. we'll get on it. And um, big up all the people that got the show back on the TV. Yeah, big up. Big up. Is it ZZ and, Z -Z and oh yeah, Festival. Jamal? Yeah, rest in peace, Jamal. Um, big up ZZ and what's her name? Inca. Inca. Yeah. Inca. Yeah. 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 yeah so um, yeah, we're just gonna get on to the show. We watched the show earlier, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah. What did you think about it? Again, um, I like uh, I like to start with positives. So mm -hmm. I'd say great studio setting. Yeah, it was nice, isn't it? Yeah, and everyone looked really, it was nice. really smart. Yeah, they did. It was looking good. Not like me. Yeah, I just came back from the gym. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, came up from the gym. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, they were looking glamorous. I like seeing everyone looking glamorous and looking good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um. But yeah, then again, and and but yeah, um, I just thought some of the subjects personally mm -hmm. made the show a little immature. Start, How so do you mean? I don't know. I just thought the timeline is showing. It's showing at eleven o'clock. Eleven o'clock. Everyone's in bed, isn't it? Everyone's in Kids, bed. Kids, really. So it's already kind of. A, uh, um, after the watershed, or after the watershed. <laughs> 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 so it's like <clears throat> the subjects. I thought they would might be dealing with things that people are, uh, that might be up at the age. That, that, at that time watching TV mm. and I think the kind of the demographic might be a bit different I don't know I don't know I'm not, I'm not an expert but I just, just the kind of subject that for me it was just uh, there was a level of immaturity in it so you think that kind of show should be showed earlier definitely and it wouldn't seem like it's so immature because it would seem like, mm. like borderline borderline and it would be like for the family but mm. you know what I mean they, they're trying to keep it sensitive mm. and it's called unapologetic mm. unapologetic they had a series is it last year or earlier in the year they had the series yeah, before, series before, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. But I think so. It's almost like unapologetically black. I got from the got from what the subjects were and how they represented. They were trying do you not? Do you? Black yeah, do you know why it stopped last time? No, I don't. I don't. I, I think they did stop, didn't they? They stopped for a long time. Yeah, something about some um one one of the people where there was like an influencer. Yeah. And they said they suffered mental health or something. Wow. Okay. Yeah. yeah that's, that's can you suffer mental health if you're an influencer? You're online, innit? That's yeah, your world. Yeah. I think that being online can be considered to a certain level, like, um, mentally, you're borderline in mentally. Because mental health is a spectrum. Like your, I always like to highlight that. It's, it's zero to 100. Illusions of grandeur, basically. Yeah, yeah. When you're living yeah, in that world. You can be everyone, world. anyone you want to be, basically. <laughs> yeah. But again, uh, the first subject that they, they were talking about was the whole race thing, the pick dating in your race mm. subject. And again, I think some of these these um, subjects isolate other cultures mm. at times. Most definitely. So I don't know, do, do we want, do we only want... Um, but is it Black History Month? Is there anything to do with that? Because these things seem to come on in Black History Month. Well, then that means it's the first subject, because the second subject was nothing to do with mm. Black History Month. Mm. You know, it's about side chicks. Mm. That was the second subject. I think it was. Was it, was it the yeah. third? Was it the second subject? Yeah. Second, yeah. Second, yeah. yeah. No, They're like trying to change the narrative. Yeah, yeah. Of how it was before. Yeah. And it ended with. The, the, I like what it ended with, with the, the man that's done the stuff, the doctor that's done the stuff, for to, to show what um, black people will have. You know, like their reactions to their skin and mm -hmm. things like that. And he's got an Angelina Jolie show. I think they could maybe should have started with something. Yeah, that was more interesting. Yeah, that was more interesting. Mm. And it the other one was like more banter, and everything else was kind yeah, of banterish. Banterish, but it mm. kind of gives a certain level. Just gives a certain level of IQ to watching it. You mm. know what I'm saying? Like if we started with that guy, it would have been would have given it a certain level of seriousness. Seriousness, seriousness. seriousness and then we later we cool down into the jokes. You know, that's what I think personally. Because again, I say we get these opportunities to do these shows, mm. and then again they, they, they took a big part up about sampling. Mm. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not knocking it because it's like everyone had their opinion about sampling, mm. but it was just big. Again, it's not a music show, so it's a bit of random mm. in terms of their opinions. So it's it's, cool it's like online again, though, isn't it? Yeah. It's the online stuff again. Yeah, yeah. It's a way to tap into the online 
narrative. That's right. I think ZZ Mills is really good at um, hosting, and I mm. think that they they always use her to talk about quote unquote black issues. Mm. And but but angry issues. Yeah, because they make it a thing of anger. I don't know if they they presented her as this. I don't know. I'm just gonna say from from what I've seen. Maybe because she stood up for herself one time at one stage. Because I feel like she's very intelligent. She knows what mm. she's doing. Her own show is very good. How she like she likes mm-hmm. to pull out questions and stuff. But mm-hmm. I think like when she gets to a certain level of stuff, I think she should start just really like having a certain standard first off because she, she seems like a very intelligent black woman. But again, the other girl, I don't think she, I haven't seen her too many, much visually. I think she's a radio presenter, if I'm not wrong. So mm. more of what I've heard from it was just radio. Mm. So I think again, I don't she I don't have too much judgment on her. I just feel like she was. She just kept it pretty straight. Mm. I think Eddie Kelly really held himself well. Yeah, he did. I think he made it. Uh, that, that's that, that's a person that should have his own show. Mm. As well. I was thinking he could carry on with that as a part of that. Yeah, a hundred. You know, like a table at the other side of the room or something. Yeah, I did, again, it's, there's so much dynamics and so much people being used mm. for the show as well. Mm. Are, are those people residents or are they just there for the? For the for no, the I don't show? think everyone is except for Yinka and Zizi. So but I'm saying they should keep him. Yeah, of course. I thought it'd, it'd be, be a good, good like a little, was a, a little bounce off. I was hoping it was a bounce show. off thing. Yeah. Mm. He held the show together, if you ask me. Mm. You know what I'm saying? People had points and stuff, but Eddie Caddy held the show. You think he held the show? I think he felt like he was the glue to the show. He had the right band at the right times. Mm. He had the, you know what I'm saying? He added little. He added the segment of it, like he said the right things at the right times. Mm. And when he was talking about certain things. He so you think he carried it though? That's yeah. a strong word, carried. I think it was a he only, he only, he's like a, a striker that's just popped up twice in yeah. the game. That's what I thought that could be everything. <laughs> <laughs> what about all the midfield and all the defenders that have been working hard? Been, they've been playing against a strong team. They wasn't doing it before he came on. Huh? The pitch. And he came on the pitch and just. Because he's got enough time to think about what he's going to come with. And he's a comedian. Yeah, and he's a comedian, so he's quick witted. Yeah, but I'm saying they do need him. They need him? Yeah. Mm. They should put him on the other side of the studio. Yeah. Thought it was alright. You know, first time back round, everyone's nervous and that. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. yeah. Going live. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. No, no, not every day. Even even though people are big on social media, it's TV still like the, the thing in it. Mm hmm. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Still there, the internet, it's like everyone's there, isn't it? Yeah. So, even though they might get it right. Well, I think they can get it right. 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 I think they can get it General is talking about things that we all can relate to. Mm. Like uh, again, and I think these are the kind of guidelines that all shows have to do anyway. At this, like if you're if you're not a quote unquote black show, you have to just talk about things generally. You can't talk about white issues <laughs> and what white people are dealing with. Because they'll be like, right, we got bad people coming in. We got bad. You know, I know that's what you be hearing all day long. Yeah. <laughs> you imagine if she's doing their shows you know what I'm like that. I see some the other day was it Nigel Farage telling telling someone that what ten million Nigerians a year or something like I can't remember since since two thousand and like yeah, two thousand and five or something have have have, have come and like everyone's got a, a student will come and then they'll have a dependent that comes mm. you know what I mean and he was just asking again get them in one by one. Yeah. So <laughs> like, and I, I, I don't know. I don't have an opinion on it either way. But yeah. I'm saying, it's but if who's gonna do a show <laughs> and hear what they gotta say for themselves? Yeah. This is what you be hearing. And maybe maybe unapologetic should be discussing things like that. Okay, what was the other subject anyway? So well, the, did we even finish the first subject about Bayega? What did you think about that? We spoke about that in the last podcast. in the last podcast. Yeah. It's just like this. It's just, why? I feel like he's also been told that he has to talk about black women or he's mm. been made to feel like that. Mm. And again, that's got nothing to do with what you're doing. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, we think that if we speak more of something, that it's going to make it better. But you saw, you see women these days say that, like that woman on the show, say that, that white women, white men treat them better than black men. That's how he said. Do you remember the, that's what the woman said? White no, what did what did Zizi say? What did, was it Zizi? Yes, it was Zizi. Yeah. She said that when white men 
are with black women, they mm -hmm. show them how nice they are. Yeah. But when black men with white women, it's just it's to show them a status. So why I don't agree with that. That's how I'm saying. That sounds good on one side and bad on the other. Do you understand? Yeah, and it's the same thing. So, so you, so who's it? You know, are we uplifting? And, are we uplifting our people, or mm. are we there to also tear down black men? Because a lot of the mm. time, that's what it seems like is happening. You get what I'm saying? It's yeah. Giving, it's we're giving we're giving that um, other people an idea that we don't like our women, and we do. There's never been a subject that, uh, mm. uh, that we don't like our women. That's mm. But the fact that we have to even prove that we like our women is a bit sad. Mm. Like we're the only ones that have to prove that we like our women. Also, you, know you what think, I mean? Mac? I agree. <laughs> <laughs> Who else has to prove that they like their women? Mm, I know. And what's the problem if you dirt outside your race? Mm -hmm. What is the problem with that? Mm -hmm. It's not race. We're all one race. Yeah, why do I even race? need to decide what you think anyway? <laughs> it's, it's, mad. it's mad. It's mad. Why do I need to decide on what you think? Don't make no sense to me. I'm confused I, on to that. Like, I don't mm. know. What, what trophy is there? Trophy there? Like. like because if there is, I, I, I can still, I'm still qualified for it. Yeah. Like, I'm going to get my, my trophy for being with, mm. with, being with black women and having children with black women. Because I want my trophy. <laughs> at the same time, if that, <laughs> I, I ain't seen no trophy. Yeah. <laughs> I just do it because that's my preference, isn't it? Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But if that's, and then even again, when we was younger, I, like all the, um, a lot of the, 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 the women I've had children with are, are Caribbean. Mm. When I went in the 90s, the, psh, as an African young that African, happen. why are you mad? That was a mm. bit of a, not saying it didn't happen because it's mm. like half African, half Caribbean mm. people. Yeah. But it's not was it? It wasn't so accepted when we Yeah, I can imagine. You remember what it was? Yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It wasn't so accepted. Mm. The, the the crossover wasn't so accepted. Do you know what I mean? Like, there was a bit you more get as most of the same resistance of Ghana as the Asian. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> same type of resistance. Same type of resistance. Mm. So uh, I'm just saying that like, the way things are broken down, and that's not is that race? Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean. That's racist. I think colorism is a better word for it all. Mm. You know what I mean? If that's what they want to call it, but I don't think racism because racism is only one racist human race. So we're not race for our color. We be different races to our brothers and sisters sometimes. Mm. <laughs> so what do you think it is? Well, What's the name? We're just humans. We're humans. We're, so it's colorism. We're you, said. Huh? you said it's colorisms. Yeah, that's what it is. It's colorism. Colorism is it's not racism. Because racism doesn't say anything. Mm. What does that mean? Mm. What does racism actually mean? Being ism to someone's race. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If, uh, if I take the word, if I split the word, because you know most words you can split into, mm -hmm. you know, or three, and you're like, oh, race, ism. ism. So, okay. Race Showing ism right. to your race. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it is. <laughs> so it is. So, and then we got to break down now when when it's within our own culture, when you're light skin, there's, there's you know what I mean? Again, mm. issues with your dark skin, there's issues with. There's issues, issues. everyone's got their own issues. Just depends who you are, innit? Yeah. If you're your own, you'll be alright for a little while, there'll still be their tensions on there. Yeah. Go somewhere, you might have a little bit of feeling like the odd one out. Yeah. But it doesn't mean you can't adapt, do you know what I mean? No. Either way. So, yeah, so, uh, in terms of Sometimes you get hate from you get more hate from your own people. Yeah. <laughs> you get me? And actually, That's yeah. what my man was saying today actually, Boozy. Mm. Yeah. He said in my city, niggas wanna kill me. <laughs> I go other places, they want my autograph. Yeah. <laughs> they yeah, wanna smile. Yeah. yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. In my city, niggas wanna kill me. Oh, they hate you. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's true, man. It's, uh, I wonder, <laughs> <laughs> whenever, whenever you do something that, that stands out yeah that's what they do yeah, your own ends is mm -mm. the ones that are trying to it might not be just your own ends it's just your your own time type of similar people that are in the, into the same things that you're into but definitely the people you know what I'm saying the, ends, mm. the closest to your, your, first, mm -hmm. your ends and mm -hmm. one thing about bricks then as well mm. you, you lot got a different dynamic up there mm. I can say that from going around not mm. just from talking from my area mm. you lot got a different like, mm. it's a bit American-ish like. mm. <laughs> 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 yeah I mean mm. right it's a, it's even just for even and for everyone, it's, a, mm -hmm. it's that same way for everybody. So, yeah, whatever yeah. color you are, mm -hmm. when you're in Brixton, you get that Brixton, you get a different style. feeling. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like going to the Bronx, it's like there. you're in the Bronx. Yeah, I know what I'm saying. Yeah, I know what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah, even when you get to Croydon, Croydon's yeah. like you're in mm -hmm. Amsterdam, you're like, what? Well, <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, where did these come from? Like, like and they're trams in your area, no? No, there's no trams nowhere else. Just in Croydon, yeah, that's yeah. it. Yeah, Croydon's its own world, bro. <laughs> When you go to Croydon, that is actually you get that travel and go for a little mm. while as well. It's mm, not even mm, like mm. <laughs> they're in Manchester as well. 
Yeah, they didn't play that Manchester now. Mm. But London, Croydon's the only place with trams. Mm. It's a Croydon world. Because, mm. you know, like, there was what, Alperton, no, Al, was it? What was it? Alperton? Oh, is it Alperton? Or Alperton? No, Alperton's in North West. It's, it's, Oh, oh, one of them far places. At this come. Ah, yeah, that's mm. yeah. <laughs> Looking like shameless down there. Mm. Yeah, yeah, hundreds, hundreds. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, no, but as I was saying, I just think, again, as we're getting more of these great positions, mm. I think we shouldn't sit in the same position. There was a light skinned woman that was talking about that on the show, and I think mm. she was one of the people that spoke the best on our growth. Wasn't that woman in the green? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. It's just thinking about the growth of our people. And I think that's mm. what we need to be focusing on. I think we're kind of like, if we keep talking like, it's similar to when Eddie Caddy was saying, what the woman was saying was more to nineteen seventy two, And that's a lot of the dialogue that we go mm. we go with. Is, I think it's dated a bit. Mm. You know what I mean? But I still think it's a good show. That's yeah. just weird. Like, but I just still, I'm a person that I'm still going to say these things because that's how my brain works. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? So, this think, reaction yeah. show, this is yeah, what we're doing, reacting. Yeah, yeah. To the show, we're not thinking about it. We're just reacting. Yeah, literally. literally <laughs> yeah, literally. I think it, I think it get, it can really get better by it make that like, it being a bit more intelligent in terms mm. of like the they're making it like even that whole minute that everyone got to do with the sampling is good or bad. Like mm. fair, like, okay, cool. We, yeah, I know, but mm. that's that kind of that's the kind of thing that make you change the channel. Mm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the yeah, I hate you. Yeah, there there wasn't nothing going on. <laughs> There's nothing to it. They just like a break. It was like a break. It was like a break in the show. This is like a break. It's like a break. Yeah, literally added things that don't need to be added. Like just, just for the sake of it. That's what that seems like. So again, with the time that they've got, we've got a great industry and it's flourishing. So fill that show with what we've got. Like mm-hmm. let's, let's the best of what we've got. The best of what we've got. Mm. You know what I mean? Get get Quincy in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get people up, I'm just, I'm get, well, for real, mm. get people of interest. Get, like, mm. I'm so, these, these people have been seen way too much and they're, 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 the things that they're going to say, they're, gonna, mm. they're all on the same page, they're going to agree mm. with each other. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm. There needs to be some sort of um, pushback. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> pushback. <Yeah. laughs> It's someone talking, someone mm. pushing back, mm-hmm. someone, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So it creates some sort of conversation. I think mm-hmm. that's how conversation gets made. Mm-hmm. And that's how mm-hmm. I feel like at the end people... Feel there wasn't like, enough conflict either. No conflict. That's there, was no conflict. there was no conflict. There's no conflict. Like, let's just all get from A to B. <laughs> yeah. That was it. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? There's no conflict. And let's stick to the the, the narratives of the lazy narratives that mm. are out there already. Because if you think about it, if you're giving us the topics that are online, on the main platform, most of the things that are popping on that other platform that you're coming from is conflict yeah. and controversy. That's right. So you didn't give your best of the social media world. No. Because in the social media world, it's conflict. Yeah. So that's and that why gets I mean, the most views and the most hits. That's why I'm being so critical. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm like, you know what I'm saying? I know, yeah. like, I'm being, there was I'm, mild. Yeah, I'm being the voice that, 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 that someone wants to hear. Where mm-hmm. like, where where it will cause mm-hmm. some sort of mm-hmm. this and that left right center. Mm-hmm. It's, it's it's either you're either gonna agree or hate it. Mm-hmm. But the main thing is, while you're there, you need to make it work. You do because people are already fighting for you not to be in that position. Exactly. <laughs> you imagine that people dreaming. What are these people doing on fucking TV? All the things you got there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, ready. You have so to you just got to maximize the, the um, opportunity. Yeah, use your own links. Mm. Put your own. Even if you think you're just a presenter mm. on the show, say no. I don't think this is good. Mm. I don't think it's gonna work. If you're just a guy that's sitting over there on the show, say no. I don't think it's. Good. Mm-hmm. I think I've got an input because if you don't mm-hmm. do that, that's what it's gonna be. And this is what the people are actually saying. Like there's mm-hmm. a point where. There's, a help, like, there's going to be points where eyes are rolling and stuff when that, mm. that they have the space to make that an amazing show and this and you know like and they and, and represent for Jamal because I feel like mm. one thing that we don't do one thing that our reason why I'm going to watch that any next week and the next week after anyway regardless because we have to support mm-hmm. something that's from someone that's uh, one of our people mm-hmm. that ain't there. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, well, did Jamal start this? Yeah, yeah Jamal's show, isn't it? Even okay. if you see at the end, they said, you know, like, from, from what? Oh, did it say it as well? TV, SBTV is it's mm, an SBTV mm, show. Mm, you know what I'm saying? Mm, so uh, my whole thing is, is that how are we gonna even show that like, everyone came out and everyone went as a party to to show 
You know what I mean? Like, regardless, mm. if it is a party for Jamal, yeah, let's go to the party for Jamal. Mm. Let's go and shake another leg for Jamal. Mm-hmm. Let's go outside the mural and have a shindig. <laughs> and I rate, I rate, I rate, I rate all of that mm. before anyone thinks I don't. But mm. when, it's, it's, when it's time to support, let's come out in the same numbers. Mm. You know what I mean? Let's yeah. make sure that show does well. Let's give it the bad criticism that, that we mm. think it needs. Let's get it to where it needs to be. Let's not, because everything I'm saying is not to, to bring it down. It's There's not no point in dick riding for six weeks for the sake of it. No, there isn't. You need to all get on it together. All get on it together. People mm. get on that show, make it fun. Mm-hmm. People that just for Jamal give them said, access. Don't worry about a check. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. That, that, everyone pull together to get on that show. Mm-hmm. Whoever's, whoever, whoever's got the number. Not everyone can get on the show, but everyone. Not everyone. Be not me. No, no, but try innit? it. Yeah. Well, let them know innit? it that they've got access to you, X, Y, Z. Them lot, I feel promote like, and back the people, out of it. The people that have got the access or that's on the show, bring bring the show in. Like, like mm-hmm. bring the show. Like, bring it in. Do it. All. Pull it pull together for Jamal, mm-hmm. and then us, us as people, let's watch it. Regardless of whether we've got criticism or not, mm-hmm. let's still watch it. We criticize everything anyway, mm-hmm. so let's just watch it. Let's just watch it every week anyway, mm-hmm. so we can actually we can show as the people that when there is a show that just we can support each other as well. Yeah, just because it looks like us on the screen. Mm-hmm. If that's what you're saying, because we're always talking about it. Mm-hmm. We're always complaining when it's exactly. Not so when it is there, yeah. that's how I say to them. Oh, <laughs> say to them the same thing about real life. Text me, where's it back on? I said, bro, do you know what? You know, I'd like if you could just share it just once, because you just you, know? you like you write me long statements when I ain't put it down, and all you have to do is just press share. How about that? Yeah, do you know what I'm saying? You show me how like the less energy. Do you know what I'm saying? Because you see in it, like you know how much people share your stuff and stuff like that. 100%. But there's more messages when you know we're not doing any real life. Yeah. And then they want to know about when real it's life. Actually going on. Yeah, yeah, they want to know what's going on. They're missing out. Do you know what I mean? So, I understand what you're saying. So, sh- share in it. I mean, not share, but yeah. promote back. Support them while they're trying to do this six week stint that they've got. Yeah. And make it make it happen because it's all about numbers, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. If yeah. the views are there, they get another commission, isn't it? We are gonna, even if they are gonna be a bit ratchet, I say go fully ratchet. If it's gonna be unapologetic, make it unapologetic. It was it was not unapologetic. It was a bit too apologetic. <laughs> make it like people when, when, when they come off the show they're like what Mm-mm. wow you know what I mean never look was on until it's apologetic <laughs> make it fun man we need to make mm. our shows fun man true always about too many issues or some deep issue or some what was the last um, the last subjects did we go through all of them? Don't think so. Mm. Clout chasing. <laughs> She's good. <laughs> clout chasing. I, I just put my eyes in it, you know. Clout chasing. They said clout chasing. Yeah, that wasn't even about clout chasing, was it? It's just the guy played the prank. I know. And that prank is. Grilled him as well. They grilled him as well. <laughs> Time he let, by the time he got out there, he ain't doing another prank again. Why isn't he coming? Yeah, I, I, I thought I came here to get my flowers. He came there to get his flowers. Yes, <laughs> He's like, I'd rather be not caught. I'd rather be caught. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't want no part of it. <laughs> he didn't want no part of it. He said, fuck that. He's like, I'm mocking me. <laughs> Guy that did the prank, right? No, <laughs> different energy. My man is with a suit, all professional in that. <laughs> Who is this guy? I thought he's his manager. It's my YouTube page. Eight million is coming. Up. I'm going on the show. <laughs> Yeah, I thought for you to be in there, these yeah. suits. Yes, 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 yes. I'm yes. Bring out you know, the money don't say too much. You know what uh? I mean? Just smiling. Is, is your mum still upstairs? <laughs> they, 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 that's a rude question. Like, that's a good one. My mum's still upstairs. <laughs> they don't know what could have happened to my man's mum within how many years. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Asking if his mum come down from upstairs. Yeah. About the black joy. Black joy. <laughs> it's a little sprinkle. Sprinkle. <laughs> sprinkle. 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 Sprinkle
sprinkle of black joy. You see me, when I hear words like that, it just brings me to their board <laughs> meeting when they were making yeah. the notes for the show. At least put the noise, the sound effect, when you say that as well. You know the sound effect? You know that angel, angelic sound? Could you be sprinkled? Gonna... <laughs> yeah. sprinkle. That's like, man, ah. that sounds like what the... Um, like, <laughs> that was on Strictly, you heard noise. Boss, you know the, sp- the sprinkly noise. <laughs> <Isn't it>? <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so Go sprinkle some black joy. <laughs> <laughs> good, it's a good Friday. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Again, it's not joy. Yeah. It's not joy that everyone would enjoy. Mm-hmm. It's black joy. Mm-hmm. And only a sprinkle of it. <laughs> 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 The sprinkles. Oh. <laughs> I was gonna, I was gonna say <laughs> <laughs> mm. Yeah, but come on, yeah. But, well, at least look, we caught some joke on it. So no, was, we did, we did. At the end of the day, it was a great show. Yeah, and we believe it will get better. So no, it's gonna get better. Definitely. Yeah, hundred. But then, if it gets too much That's better, it, then we're gonna have too much to critique. So <laughs> yeah, we need it to get better. Though. Review, you know what I mean? We need it to get better. No, it's definitely gonna get better. We're gonna make sure. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And because we're behind it as as mm-hmm. a people, we're actually mm-hmm. behind it. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So like, I think get oh, my thing is the most important thing is to get behind it. Mm-hmm. I don't care if you're, you're critiquing it or you've got good things to say about mm-hmm. it. Just get behind it, watch it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Tweet about it. Complain. Yeah. Complain about it. I was about to say, complain about it. Yeah, just do it. Anyway, just man. do it. <laughs> just get on Twitter. Because again, if, if you're not going to give it, if we're not giving the criticism back, how are people going to get better? Yeah, you know, we're mm-hmm. not going to criticism. So that, mm-hmm. get on Twitter, hashtag unapologetic, and just tell them what you're thinking about mm-hmm. them. Man. Just tell them. Let's, 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 let's grill our peoples as we usually mm-hmm. do. <laughs> exactly. Online with the ghost Online, accounts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just make sure you're hashtagging the mm-hmm. hat in them while you're doing it. Mm-hmm. I think, you know what I mean? That's definitely mm-hmm. something you're going to do. If we yeah, get on to them. <laughs> no, they, they need it. They need it. They're wasting energy over here. They need it. They're right now there. Just, just oh, put that same energy on Channel 4 now. I put that energy into them in the chat rooms, yep. the social rooms, and the community groups, all of it. Just, I'm going to be. I'm going to yeah, start talking it. about hashtagging it, etc. So I'm going to actually say my opinion. Mm. Hashtag unapologetic. And then... Mm. I get to be critical but and positive at the same time. Mm-hmm. And you never know who you're going to meet. No, that's true. In the social rooms. No, definitely, definitely. Mm. Uh, we didn't have the debate. So. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. Q- well, QB or not to be. It's been a, it's been a QB non apologetic reaction. So, mm. yeah. See you next week. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> yeah. Take him to the tower, take his head off Off of pissing me off Yo, I said, who can it be? Uh, I said, it's cause of the law So they tried to diss um, Maxi Priest the other day Because he bigged up um, Elizabeth on her funeral Yeah But, and they tried to say um, Don't attach Elizabeth to our To our um, emperor but the emperor was rolling around with Elizabeth. Yeah, he was. They were good friends. You've seen it in a few pictures. Yeah, there's pictures. There's and on another day before she died, everyone was saying, "Look, she's bowing to him. Yeah. She's doing this. She's doing that." So yeah. when it was in that kind of way, everyone was calm with it. Yeah. So why and now when a Maxi Priest says, "R.I.P. to our Queen," it's crazy. everyone's got a problem. I don't. I don't get. It. 